Welcome to the Chimer Marker Software Introductory Webinar. My name is Fook Nguyen, and I will be the presenter for this webinar. Chimer Marker Software integrates analysis workflow from raw data analysis to chimerism quantification and reporting. The software is compatible with all major CE instruments and human identity chemistries for rapid, accurate size, and allele calls. It has a user-friendly interface and link navigation that decreases error due to data transfer automates peak identification, and contains an audit trail when user management is activated. For chimerism analysis of post- and pre-transplant sample, the software automatically detects donor and recipient peaks and uses it, this information to quantify percent chimerism by height or area. The results can be displayed in percent donor or percent recipient in a comprehensive summary report. Additional applications include maternal cell contamination and double donor chimerism analysis. Please see separate webinar for more information on these applications. In today's webinar, we will mainly focus on single donor analysis using ChimerMarker. We will begin by going over how to set up user management. User management provides password control access rights and an audit trail of the analysis. And then, we will use a sample data set to demonstrate the streamlined analysis workflow from importing of data and automated chimerism analysis to the reporting features. And lastly, we will cover the analysis results and briefly discuss longitudinal monitoring. To begin, let's activate user management. Select Help and then select User Management from the drop-down menu in the main toolbar. User Management provides control of user access rights and generate edit history for each project. The administrator enters the institution name, password, and activates user management. Choose from a list of access rights for each authorized user. The operation history is recorded in the History tab. Settings include overtime protection and recording edit history of all actions, providing a complete audit trail. User management also provides the institution and user identification for the header of the final reports. To import data into ChimerMarker, use the file drop-down menu and select Open Data. In the dialog box, Click the Add button to import samples into ChimerMarker. You can also remove files by selecting the sample and clicking Remove. For Beckman data, please select Channels before importing your data and deselect Auto Set Channel and click on Reset to select the appropriate die color orders. After selecting all the desired files, hit OK to import the files. ChimerMarker is compatible with all major capillary electrophoresis systems. After importing the data, the list of files will be located at the left side of the screen and the electropherogram of the raw data for each trace can be viewed by clicking on its file name. ChimerMarker software uses identifiers specified by the analyst to automatically determine which peaks and loci are informative. There are two ways to specify identifiers for donor and recipient sample. The first one uses a naming convention. To begin, select View and then Preference and then go to the Chimerism tab. In the tab, click on the arrows indicated in the illustration to expand the identifiers. In this window, I have specifically input the identifiers for my donor and recipient sample so that ChimerMarker knows which sample are single sources. Once you are finished, click OK and the sample will be automatically identified by the software. If the naming convention method is not suitable for your lab, Use the second method to manually identify each pre-transplant sample by right-clicking on the particular sample and selecting Set Sample Type. In the drop-down menu, pick a category that is used to identify the sample. In order to use the rapid camera typing method, the program requires identification of host and recipient pre-transplant sample. Without these single sources files, Chimer Marker will not be able to complete the rapid camera typing analysis. Workflow for projects that do not contain pre-transplant samples will be covered in a separate webinar. Once the samples have been defined, click on the Run Wizard icon to bring up the settings for the analysis. In the first window, select the panel and size standard for the chemistry you are using. Or, if you are using custom panel, use the panel editor to create a panel for your analysis. Details of custom panel creation are covered in Chapter 5 of the User Manual. There are also templates 
present on the left side for use with commonly used commercial human identity kits. If you want to make a template, simply hit save to overwrite the existing template or save as a new template. For this example, I selected the Profiler HD400 template. The second page of the Run Wizard contains several functions to filter out background and artifact peaks. The default setting works well for most data. At the bottom, you will notice that the Auto Create Chromosome panel is selected and the sample list is shown on the right side, along with the donor and recipient identification. When this option is selected, Chroma Marker will automatically create a Chroma Typing panel for this dataset. The name of the panel can be specified in the Panel Name field. Once you are satisfied with the settings, click Next to continue. The last page of the Run Wizard is useful if you ran an allelic ladder with your data. Select the ladder sample in this window for auto calibration. Otherwise, leave all settings at default and click OK to begin the analysis. After the analysis finishes, all called alleles will have a peak identification of D1 for donor, R for recipient, and D1R for shared alleles. You can review the results in the main analysis window. The help menu on the upper right hand corner contains action to edit alleles, such as deleting, adding, confirming, as well as other editing options. You can scroll left or right by right clicking on the electropherogram and holding it to scroll. To zoom in, use the left mouse click and draw a box from the upper left to lower right. To zoom out, Simply click and draw a box in the opposite direction. On the left, all the samples in the project are listed. Green sheets beside each sample correspond to the size called quality. Green means that the sample passes, yellow indicates that the sample needs to be checked, and red means that the sample failed the size call. You can click on the icon shown here to access the size calibration chart. The size call quality score for each sample is shown on the left and the calibration charts are shown at the bottom. If a chart shows a linear line, it means that the size calling was good. These files are all in a linear range for size calling. If the size call for a sample needs to be recalibrated, details of the process are found in the help menu located at the top right hand corner and in chapter 5 of the user manual. To link directly to the chromosome analysis after reviewing the results, select applications single donor chromosome analysis, and select the desired parameters to quantify the level of chromosome in the sample. There is no need to transfer information to another program or spreadsheet. Analysis parameters include chromosome type to report percent donor or percent recipient, quantification using peak height or area, analysis with or without the convolution of single shared peak, ignore share allele imbalance, tells the software to ignore a peak when the peak intensity or area of any unshared sister allele exceeds the peak intensity or area of the shared peak containing the other sister allele. The ignore locus option provides the flexibility to designate how much heterozygous imbalance is acceptable. Quality statistic specifications are selected. The automated chromosome calculation are displayed in the center table. Any markers that have a yes in the ignore column are ignored by the software because of the settings. You can also right click on a marker and manually ignore the marker from your calculations. To view the result for a given file, click on the file name in the list at the left. To view multiple electropherograms, activate the multiple sample view function and select the desired electropherograms. Any markers highlighted in red or non-informative are ignored. You can print the summary report by clicking on the print icon on the toolbar. It will bring up a print settings dialog box. From here, you can choose specific samples or markers that you would like to print as well as the parameters. Click on the print preview button to see a preview of the summary report. The header information at the top contains user management information as well as the parameters, time, and sample used for the analysis. The summary results table on the right includes all the results for each individual locus as well as the calculated average chromosome. The electropherogram identifies all peaks origin for all dye color present in the analysis. You can easily append new samples to a saved project in a few easy steps. First, open the project by going to File and selecting Open Project. Second, go to the Project tab on the main menu toolbar and then select Add Samples to Project. 
An open data file dialog box will open. Simply import the sample you wish to add to the project using the Add button and navigating to the sample. Once added, the sample will be automatically genotyped, chimer-type, and quantified when single donor chimerism is selected in the application window. Using this method, you can easily append additional samples as time goes on. In the chimerism application, there is an icon that opens the longitudinal report. This screens allow you to build a longitudinal graph using all data within a project. This graph can be used to monitor the fluctuations of chimerism within an individual for indication of relapse, mixed chimerism, or successful engraftment. Thank you for participating in this introductory ChimerMarker webinar. ChimerMarker provides accurate, rapid analysis of pre- and post-BMT data with quality flagging, size calibration check, and automated chimerism quantification and informative loci identification. The program is compatible with all major capillary electrophoresis file types, human identity PCR kits, and other custom chemistry kits. The user management provides an audit trail of all actions and a variety of options for access rights. The link navigation and intuitive interface eliminates the error-prone process of data transfer to another program or spreadsheet, automatically replaces the labor-intensive process of identifying which peaks belong to donor, recipient, or shared while minimizing the amount of repetitive quantification. Final results may be reported in a variety of formats, including allele tables, peak tables, and longitudinal monitoring graph. Thank you for your interest in ChimerMarker software for automated chimerism SCR analysis and monitoring. For more information or to download a free 30-day trial, go to www.softgenetics.com or send us an email at info at softgenetics.com.